back everyone to another episode of Long Balls. Today we're doing a game review. And today I'm reviewing something new. I'm reviewing Dead Effect. Now what the heck is Dead Effect? Well, Dead Effect is actually a card game with the zombies. Rage, rage, rage. I'm sorry, I get excited. But Dead Effect is a card game with zombies. Now you can kind of think of it as solitaire with zombies. It's that simple. Basically, the basic premise of Dead Effect is simply this. You must build up supplies in order to escape the zombie apocalypse. In the meantime, if your base is overrun by zombies, you're dead, you're done, you're out. So that's basically what Dead Effect is. Now, let's talk about the graphics. The graphics in this game, there's really not much to them because it's a card game, but for what there is, it's got some good graphics. Same thing with the soundtrack. It has a nice soundtrack, there's not a lot to it, but it is nice and relaxing for the most part. Now the controls in this game, it's a card game again, guys. So there's not much to talk about control-wise, but it does have some nice controls. Now the gameplay itself. Now as I said, this is a card game. Now, there's a couple different game modes you can play, but they all have the overarching goal, as I said, of collecting supplies. Now what does supplies entail? Well, you need a card to escape, you need fuel, you need food, and you need someone to drive the car. So you need survivors. Those are the four things that you need no matter what game mode you're playing. You need those four things. So with that in mind, that is what Dead Effect is. But there's a lot more to it. Now, let me give you guys a basic setup of the game here. Okay, so. There is a city where you can draw cards from if you need them. There is a discard pile. There is a trade zone where you can trade cards with other players like let's say you have a car and they need a car and they have a survivor you want you can do that there is a sacrifice zone where you can sacrifice things each um each person or each card has a sacrifice effect so you can use those and finally there is the supply area down at the bottom left corner now there, as i said there are different game modes as well as online play so this is one of those games that, you know, it's gonna be funner playing with other people, but it's still, you can still have an enjoyable time by yourself. Let's go on to the cons now. Now, the first con of this is it does have a learning curve. Yes, there is a learning curve as there is to any card game, but it's not too hard. Once you play a couple games, you'll fully understand how to play this game. It is not hard hard. It is weird when you first start it, but not hard hard. The second con is that there's not a huge online base play in this game right now. So. It's hard to find a match, and as I said, this game is a lot funner when you can play it with someone. So, that is a bummer in my opinion. I wish it had a little bit more of an online following, because that would be awesome. Finally, the final con is it gets a little repetitive at times. There's only, you know, you know how it is with card games, you know how it is with Monopoly and things like that. You play it once and you're like, oh yeah, I had a great time! And then they're like, do you want to play again? And you're like, no. <laughs> So, it's one of those games that, you know, you're going to want to play it sporadically. All that's really left to ask is what is this game getting on our Mumbles review? This is a unique game, it's a card game, so obviously, you know, it's not a AAA title or anything. But with that in mind, I really like what they did to this game. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. I like that it has a nice card game, I do wish that it had a little bit more online play. But if you have people in your household, maybe as a family game or something, uh, you, you know, Maybe you want to play this as a family game, and if you do, that... So, while it does have some cons, I overall like this game. Now, I do wish it had a little bit more of an online base, because I would love to play it with all other people, because that, that that's a load of fun. But this could be a great family game as well. If your children are into zombies and things like that, then maybe you want to try to play this game with it. There's not really anything, per se, bad about it. It does have some blood, but not anything, say per se, bad about it. If they can watch The Walking Dead, they can play this game. It's not a, that kind of a game. So, if you have a family night, this would be great. Now, for adults, this is a fantastic game. I would, if you were having a party and you wanted something to play, this would be a fantastic game to play. There's no cleanup; it's all ready to go. So, with all that in mind, seven out of ten, great game. And yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles. I want to thank y'all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye everyone. Take care.